The Job-Related Task Assessment, or JTA, incorporates varying obstacles and events with degrees of physical effort associated with law enforcement. These obstacles and events require stamina, bursts of short-term effort, muscular strength, muscular endurance, and flexibility. Your goal is to complete the JTA in the shortest time possible and not to exceed 6 minutes and 57 seconds. Passing the JTA ensures that prospective trainees possess a level of physical working capacity required to be able to meet the minimum physical demands associated with performance of critical job tasks. On the command, go or begin, the applicant will sprint or run on the asphalt track surface in a counterclockwise direction for approximately 1,111 feet, returning to the start point. After returning to the start point, the applicant will continue running to the left of the track into the grass surface of the obstacle course towards and climb or jump over the four-foot wall. They will then proceed to and crawl through the crawl. The applicant will then negotiate the hurdles, jumping over each hurdle one at a time. If any hurdle is knocked or kicked off of its stand, the applicant will return to the first hurdle and will repeat the process until all hurdles have been negotiated successfully. The applicant will then negotiate the serpentine, weaving in and out of the cones. If any cone is knocked down or over, the applicant will return to the first cone and will repeat the process until all cones have been negotiated successfully. The applicant will then proceed to the ladder. The applicant must touch the first five rungs, starting from the ground with at least one foot as they ascend and descend the ladder. The applicant must step over the top rung Failure to touch any of the first five rung or climbing over the top rung will result in the applicant restarting the ladder event until it is negotiated successfully. The applicant will then run to and around the turning post and towards the rescue drag platform. The applicant will then drag the 150 pound dummy 50 feet. The safety officer will inform you when you have completed the 50 feet. The applicant will then drop the dummy and run to the balance beam. The balance beam is 18 feet in length with directional changes every 6 feet. If the applicant falls off the balance beam, they will return to the start point of the balance beam event and continue to try until they successfully complete it. The applicant will then run to and climb through the window. The applicant will then run to the stair climb and run up and down the stair climb three times, stepping on every step. Failure to step on every step will result in the applicant restarting the stair climb event. The applicant will then run to the scuffle, where they will push a 180-pound sled 15 feet, then pull the sled back to the sled starting point. After returning the sled to its starting point, the applicant will pick up the battle ropes from the tape portion and maneuver the ropes over the cone to the opposite side in a wave motion. Both ropes must go over the cone for repletion to count. If one rope does not go over the cone, the applicant must maneuver the one rope that was unsuccessful to the opposite side of the cone to complete a full repetition. The applicant must complete 10 repetitions. The applicant will then return to the 180-pound sled, where they will push a 180-pound sled 15 feet, then pull the sled back to the sled starting point and complete 10 more repetitions with the battle ropes. The applicant will then run, sprint to the finish line. At the 6 minutes and 57 second mark, the assessment will be terminated, and if the applicant has not completed the course, their time will be documented as failure. If the applicant completes the course in 6 minutes and 57 seconds or less, the time at which the applicant crosses the finish line will be documented.